What's going on everybody, Gemmin here back again with another statue unboxing and review. We have the one third scale Nightwing from the Batman Hush line by Prime One Studio. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're still giving away that quarter scale Deja Thoris at 150k. All you gotta do is like and comment below. Once we hit that milestone, we'll pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. But enough of all that, let's get into the unboxing. All right guys, diving into the first box here. It does come with some goodies. So we have this little cutie one uh, notepad thingy, 2022 calendar thing. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll use it uh, for auctions or something and scribble in that. It also does come with the uh, package contents of Nightwing. And of course on the reverse side, it'll have the instructions on how to assemble, which this video will really act like a guide to do anyway. So uh, we'll go ahead and put that down. And lastly, uh, it said 2022 calendar. Here's the real deal calendar, which we're already uh, almost halfway through, but still some great months of some Prime One Studio pieces that we can flip through. Val Kilmer, one third scale Batman. I mean, come on. All right, so here is the first box contents, everything wrapped in tissue paper, styrofoam. Uh, we're going to start by looking at the base elements here, these eagles, uh, which remind me very much of the Superman hush. Uh, same type of color and sculpt, these eagle statues that are going to be perched around the base. They have color-coded magnets, so there was the red, here's the white, we have the yellow, and then lastly we have the non-painted one and all the same sculpt, but it gives you that nice statuesque look. Then we're going to go to the baton. So this doesn't have the blue colors because this is not the DX. So you just have the blue in the costume, which has kind of nice stitching, comic book stitching, if you will, uh, along with texturing, uh, like on the inside of the glove here, as you can see. And then we have the two portraits. So this right here is the collector's edition portrait. It looks okay. He, it looks a little bit more on the younger side to me, but I do like the sculpt and the hair. You wanna be careful with those kind of tendrils, but they're pretty flexible. That sculpt looks good. Got the back of the head here. Yeah, and this side right here are just flexible. Gotta be careful with that hair. And then the exclusive portrait with the hair kind of swooshed going to the right i like this one he has more of a smirk you can see the great flesh tone paint on the skin and again the hair the great sculpt the different materials used to give you the 3d look and let's put them next to each other because if you're like me it's hard to tell one from the other so here's how they look together i like the exclusive portrait here best all right, then onto the body. So you can see those kind of like pencil mark stitchings throughout the shoulders and the chest here. And I think that was a nice little touch. Besides, like with that forearm, you can see sculpting textures used in the boots to make it look like leather or the stitching on the fabric part of his costume. Again, more line work here. The left arm is fixed forward because it's gonna be on the base. You just see more elements and design choices of the costume. A little bit more of a modern look. Onto the second box, which is a tall box, and it's only the base, it looks like. So <laughs> let's go ahead and remove the paper. And being that it's just this one piece, we'll cover most of this during the review. But one big solid piece of a building from Gotham City, or is it Bloodhaven? I don't know, but we'll take a look at it close up. Let's get it out of the box and onto the turntable. All right, here we go, time to get those eagles notched in here so we'll start on the left and uh, they're color coded they magnetize in but the feet feel like it wraps around the uh, the bottom pillar there so that's pretty cool and you can see the bronzish kind of gold highlights on the building that's a nice touch there we're gonna go ahead and key in Nightwing here that's the peg and real quick we'll take it for a spin just to get a close-up of all the design choices you can see like the brick look behind the eagle going into those uh, gold or bronze finishings the wood panels up top which have broken panels of wood so one big chunky solid base let's go ahead and put nightwing together and then we'll get measurements on everything and and do a final review all right so let's go ahead and get that right hand keyed in no switch out options here with the weapons you just put the weapons on the back and then uh, we'll start with that first portrait so that's the collector's edition not bad don't mind it but i just like that exclusive one so much better so let's go ahead and switch it out and then uh we'll take a look at this guy 
There we go. So the smirk, cocky. He feels more mature. He feels more like Nightwing and less like Robin here. Let's zoom out and let's get a look at this bad boy in full. Before we get into the review, big thanks to that Spider-Man booth for sponsoring this video. Make sure that you're not only following them over on Whatnot, but if you're heading to Orlando for Megacon, make sure to say what's up and tell him Jem Min sent you. He'll be by the huge street level hero SLH LA banners. Appreciate you, JP. All right, guys, and here we have it. The one third scale Nightwing from the Batman Hush storyline by Prime One Studio. Let's go ahead and get some measurements. His head is his tallest point. So he's just about 34 inches tall. And then the diameter on the base, you're looking at about 15 inches. So, like I mentioned, this is the exclusive. So you get that bonus portrait. The deluxe edition or the DX comes with a switch out right hand and baton on his back where it just has the teal colors around the rims. Don't really miss that or need that. I'm really more so finding myself lately going for the pieces that have the least amount of extra parts so I don't have to just store stuff in boxes. But uh, I picked up the exclusive because that was available uh, at Sideshow at the time. And it looks like that is now waitlisted uh, as well as the collector's edition. So collector's edition retail $10.55. This one was $11.05 and the bonus version was $11.45. So adding to the one third scale DC line and I guess comic book line that I'm putting together. Adding to the Hush line, I have the Superman Hush and I do have the Batman and Batcave Hush coming in tomorrow so i'm excited for that but uh first let's start with this it's got this huge oversized base i can't help but feel like they had to do something to give nightwing more oomph like right with superman you didn't need all that you just had the cape you had superman flying that was enough with batman you have the whole bat cave and his cape and all that i think with the lack of having a cape is really why prime one decided to go with this huge piece of building which matches what they do with not only their hush line but all of their one-third scale pieces darker tone base uh that dark gray you see all the wear and all the uh weathering on that material on that concrete or stone you have the gold and bronze highlights like i mentioned the wood paneling which has great intricacies sculpted in uh not all the boards and panels look alike some are damaged and the paint is different on them as well going up to that bronze eagle that he's perched up on top of. Now, Nightwing is big. He's tall. I can see him you know, near Superman, and he feels like he's in scale, so that's great. I can't wait to pair him up next to Batman and see how they look together, uh, but I think Dick Grayson, Nightwing, he's got the presence. He's got the size to him. Uh, costume, mostly black. You have some, like I said, modern details showing some line designs, some different texturing in certain panels. Uh, and then you have, of course, the baby blue, Carolina blue Nightwing logo going up across his chest, shoulders, and down his arms. Now, the only thing on my piece is that he is not really sitting flush with his hand or his right foot, as you guys can see here. I don't know if uh, it bothers me enough to really try to get a replacement. It might not even uh, be noticeable from certain angles, and it might eventually settle, so I don't really know. I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments. What do you think I should do about that? Yeah, that's the one-third scale Nightwing. I'm getting a few pieces in, guys, and I'm gonna review them here, but this is not gonna be the final display, so stay tuned for that. Uh, most of you guys know who follow the channel. We're gonna be moving and setting up a new space, new display, and I have some new themes that I'm working on here, so happy to add nightwing hush to the collection can't wait to do the batman hush bat cave review for you guys uh the merciless and i got a couple other surprises coming in as well so let me know what you think about the one third scale nightwing from prime one studio in the comments below and i'll leave you with nightwing spinning 360 degrees stay minty fresh y'all peace